Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are staring at the brand new M4 Competition Edition here on a set of Corsa. We're going to be taking a look at it today. It just got dropped on the Assetto Land. So being working for BMW, you get a chance to drive this car in real life. So we're going to take it on the Norschleiven today in a set of Corsa and see how it does. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All which found in the description box below. I say we get to it and... Uh, Rip Norschleiven in this brand new M4. So we are in the cockpit of the brand new M4 and I think we can actually look around. We should be able to. No? Yes we can. So the interior is definitely a very, very good model. These carbon fixed backs reclining seats are definitely amazing we do have one that has these seats in it and they are super comfortable seats uh, this one is of course paddle shifters the one we have is a manual trans with those seats so it's definitely an amazing car so we're going to rip this on Norschleiven and see what we can do with it this car does sound pretty good let's uh get that out of the way so we are we are on the Norschleiven tourist section we are on the factory street tires and things of that so we're just gonna go full send I do like how it has the HUD on the front windshield how the real car and everything does this is a, like I said a very very nice model let's make sure we are in the correct steering trim for this there we go and now we're just gonna go full send we do not need to use clutch because we are on a DSG setup. I don't understand why that got extremely loud. The M Sport transmissions with the paddle shifters are definitely a very nice transmission. Getting a chance to drive them, like I said, on the daily at my daily job. And for first impressions of how this car is, this thing is actually quite grippy for not being for being on street tires this thing is gripping quite well love the nav right in the center on the iDrive display kind of gives me an idea of what's coming up but I do already know the track so I figured the best place to bring this car out for a first initial test would be here on Norschleifen Nuremberg ring and uh, I'm thoroughly <laughs> impressed with this car it does have that down dummy downshifting where it won't let you downshift unless the car needs to downshift which the real cars in the paddle shifter form do have as well you can't downshift unless the car is in capable range without blowing the transmission so like I said first impressions of this car this is Oh, I didn't think we were going to save that. This feels very good on the wheel. Definitely a lot of grip. And for being on the factory tires and not on any racing tires or everything, just off the rip, this car is insane. I love the gauge cluster with the G-Force meter and everything. Like I said, I definitely like the iDrive and the heads-up display in the middle of the windshield very true to the real car oh, I can just power straight through I am thoroughly impressed with how this car is handling right now with no tune straight off the rip this car feels so good a little bit of a little bit of exhaust crackling there and you know it's not stepping out on me oh as I say that we missed that turn it's not stepping out on me which I anticipate a lot of cars in the set of Corsa to do. So whoever made this model and the physics on it, this is a very solid driving car. I'll leave the link for the car down in the description box below if you guys want to try this car out yourself. So then I bring the question. Do you guys want to see a drift build on this new M4? Swapping it to rear wheel drive full and putting a manual trans and everything in it. Or would you like to see the build on 
the Volkswagen Polo rally car. So let me know down in the comments which car you would rather see built because I'm having a lot of fun with this. I want love to keep this car in grip form, but also possibly do a drift form of this car as well. Probably didn't need a downshift there. This car is a handful. The feedback on this car is incredible feeling. There's one of those downshift for dummies. Driving these cars in grip form is definitely something I don't do enough of, and I feel like I need to bring more of these Nuremberg challenges with some grip cars. So if you guys want to see, unsure why the exhaust note just got way loud. There's like a weird echo going on with the exhaust note of this car on some portions of the track. So like I said, if you guys want to see more maybe Nuremberg challenges on some grip cars, let me know down in the comments if you guys like this style of video. Something a little bit different than drifting. But I do enjoy grip driving and things like that. Getting a little bit back into iRacing here recently. So if you guys want to see that stuff on the content, let me know my, you know, trials and tribulations of iRacing did hop into a race with the new M4 GT3 race car without any practice and uh, didn't go so well. It wasn't too terrible but it didn't go the greatest and I'm actually having a lot of fun with this M4 right now. This car is truly, truly good. Like I said, I'll leave the link for the car down in the description box below so you guys can give it a shot yourself and let me know what you guys think of this car. All the different views for you guys here today as well. Pedal cam, wheel cam, third person action going on as well as cockpit view with the apex look function of content manager. is a blast to drive you guys need to take this car out here yourself and let me know what you guys think of it because this is actually oh sorry bmw <laughs> oh as we say that ah oh, they let me get access to a brand new m4 and unfortunately uh we kind of just went hard and oh my steering wheel is not straight anymore oh we went hard into the wall nuremberg fail not even in YouTube corner. Ah, uh, I wonder if we're gonna be able to finish the run. Oh yeah, there's definitely some uh, some wheel play going on in this car right now. There's a lot of wheel chatter, a lot of wheel movement, as you can see going on right now, and oh, it's not happy. hoping to do a whole lap without crashing but unfortunately that was not the case so like I said if you guys want to see more of these Nuremberg attack videos with some new cars on a set of Corsa let me know down in the comment section down below as well as let me know what cars you think I should bring out here because I don't mind driving <laughs> I don't mind driving this track I should be paying attention to where I'm driving so I don't wreck these cars more yeah, you can see my steering wheel is not straight at all. Oh boy. Yeah. So like I said, let me know what cars you guys would like to see in a video like this. Maybe a race car, maybe a street car. Please don't make it like a, you know, a Zeta or anything like that. That's going to take me, you know, 20 million hours to complete this track. Because that would just be, that would be torture. You know, but being able to drive the whole track flat foot without ever lifting would probably be fun. But yeah, this... That would be very much torture. So, overall impressions of this M4 in a set of Corsa. This is a very fun driving car. Very grippy, very nice, and uh, I do love how the car handles when you're not hitting a wall and causing damage to the car, because that did put a damper on this last half of this track. I love the interior, how it looks. It's very tried and true to the real car. And they did a great job modeling this. Like I said, I've had the chance to drive one of these new M4s at my work. And these things are a blast and a very nice car to drive. So we managed to complete the course in the tourist section of 
Norschleiven. So, we've successfully not destroyed the car. So we're gonna come in to finish this section off and end this episode off. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are in the description box below. Yeah, you can see my wheel is not straight. Oh, yeah, there's another hit. So, <laughs> that'll do it for this episode here on Asada Corsa. As always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.